a walking tour of Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions, and in this video, I'm gonna take you down this street, show you all the fancy shops, the restaurants, the highest end street in Los Angeles. Let's go. So I've turned the camera around so you can see what I can see, and I'm starting this walk off at 2 Rodeo Drive. This is at the intersection of Rodeo Drive and Dayton. Now, this is probably where you see a lot of the pictures on Rodeo Drive, and it's actually like a mini little shopping mall on Rodeo Drive. It's made to look like some classic European streets, though a little bit in Disneyland in nature, because this is private, where the rest of Rodeo Drive is public. This has tends to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer, a little bit more manicured. But you see the stores on the left and the right, pretty high-end wow. shops, jewelry stores, clothing stores. Versace is on the left, Porsche design. And uh, there's a couple restaurants that will come up on the staircase that I'm coming up on. That's where I did the intro shot coming down that staircase, which is right along Wilshire. Now, Rodeo Drive, the whole street is about two miles long, though when people refer to Rodeo Drive, they're really referring to the three block section that I'm gonna walk you on in this video, which is the section between Wilshire and Little Santa Monica. So you can see it feels just a little bit like an Italian town out here where we've got dining out here on the street, although it's nice to dine out here because the street is actually right down there. That is Wilshire. One of the classic spots for people to take pictures on Rodeo Drive is right here in front of the Via Rodeo sign, which is kind of what they call that pedestrian walkway that I just walked on, or the fountains that are just right here. Although you will be jockeying for a position with a lot of other people taking photos here. Because this is definitely the spot. You get the picture of the fountain, Via Rodeo, and the Tiffany and Company sign. Okay, this is Wilshire Rodeo Drive. This is uh, the like fancy hotel right here, the Beverly Wilshire. This is a Four Seasons Hotel. This is known as kind of starting really the height of Rodeo Drive. A lot of weddings were here and Rodeo Drive was actually used as the, the bridal route for brides that were coming down to that hotel. There's a flagship Ramoa location just on the left, the German suitcase manufacturer. I love their suitcases and have quite a few of them. Actually, I see a yellow one in the window. Next to Ramoa is a Fendi and next to Fendi is a Louis Vuitton. Kind of a neat thing about walking around here is seeing the architecture because all these different brands are kind of competing for that flagship stance on this street. And so each one of them kind of tries to outdo the other. Now we'll say some of these stores, even though their door is open, they may be open for appointment only. So if there's one that you really want to get into, make sure you have an appointment to get in there. Uh, there's also this famous bust right here along Rodeo Drive. They have the um, Walk of Style. Hollywood is known for the Walk of Fame. Here they have the Walk of Style where they honor different fashion clothing designers. All right, now we're back at the intersection where I started. I'm gonna continue this as soon as this light turns green and I get to go to the other side. All right, so the light has turned green and now I'm going across this scramble crossing. Here we see a three-story Burberry outlet and related to these places being popular, You'll also see in the Dior store, there are quite a few people waiting in line out in front. Because I feel like that's part of the exclusivity of some of these places is, you know, we don't want we don't want too many people in the store. On the right is an outpost of Dolce and Gabbana, Harry Winston. And you can park here on Rodeo Drive. There are a few parking spots, but everything's pretty much pay parking and metered. So if you're driving here, do pay attention to where you're parking. A lot of the spots have draconian restrictions, like you can only park for three hours a day on every odd Wednesday. Don't get a ticket. We've got a lot of tickets parking in Beverly Hills and Los yeah, Angeles. Right. This is fairly typical. You'll see yeah, the Brian, little ropes to, you gotta talk to somebody who lets you in. And then of course you walk up and they're like, yes, what, how may I help you? And you'll be like, oh, I'd, uh, I'd like to come in and look around. Do you have an appointment? Are you here to see somebody? Which might be the experience that you get at some of these. Now, obviously if you're 
in the know and you probably have the money, then you probably have the appointment. But one of the shops we'll come up on is, uh, it has the reputation of being Los Angeles's most expensive shop. That's how they've branded themselves. Here we see a Prada outpost, which also has a little bit of a line set up right here for OC Girl and I mostly just window shopping in these shops. Well, I hope that's what we're doing. OC Girl is out on her own exploring right now. I hope she doesn't come back with too many goods from too many of these stores. Here is a Gucci that has a nice tiled entry right here. I can feel the air conditioning coming out from the store. I'm recording this in the summer and uh, it's about 90 degrees Fahrenheit out here today. On the left, this tall building, this is an outpost of Salvatore Fergamo. On the right is a Cartier and a Tory Birch. And there's also a small hotel right on Rodeo Drive called the Lux. If you can't make it here by driving yourself, there are plenty of tour companies that operate in the area that you can take these little open air vans uh, that'll bring you through a lot of LA sites, including <coughs> Rodeo Drive. On the corner here, we have David Yerman, a upscale jewelry shop. You'll see most of the employees in these stores, if you can see inside the windows, are generally wearing suits and ties. A little warm for anybody outside actually on the street to be wearing that today. All right, across the street we have Bulgari and uh, Goyard right next to it that has the line out in front that has these neat suitcases in front of it right here. I definitely like the yellow one, Goyard from Paris. If you're looking to park right on Rodeo Drive, there is some uh, public parking, like in a parking garage right here in the middle, if you can't find anything else. Uh, we've got somebody waiting to turn in, but I will sneak in front of them. So right here, this is the Rodeo collection, and this is another one of Rodeo Drive's shopping malls. And this is where the underground parking is. There's about 40 different shops and a few cafes and things like that in here in the center of Rodeo Drive. Though I will say the pandemic has kind of not done this plaza well. Now there's like a podiatry and a salon. So you're not gonna find a lot of the big brands in the center of here. But this section is pretty neat with these gold uh, mirrored windows. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, over there is a Giorgio Armani, and that's not the same tourist van, that's another tourist van. When I said this was one of LA's big stretch attractions, I read something that said it was like number fourth most visited attraction in Los Angeles uh, after like Universal Studios and some of those things. There's no admission fee, some people just up here. Okay, so Bijan right here. This store that's yellow, that also has a yellow parking meter in front of it is known as Los Angeles's most expensive stores. The hours on the door, it says by appointment only. And they have a list of people who have shopped here that include President Bush, um, His Majesty Kings from Jordan and lots of places. So if you're looking for some of the highest end stuff, that's where you're gonna find it. On the right is a big Ralph Lauren store and uh, here is Philip Pline. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is where you see like new fashion. Look at this. I've, I've been looking for a um, green sequined outfit. And look at the skull in the center of the store. These are like, this is like a really upscale shoe store with everything's rhinestone and spang dangled. I mean, this one doesn't have a, this one doesn't have a rope in front of it. So it tells you it's not as, oity-toity as some of those that do have their rope. And then uh, just over this way, as you see the green trees, that's coming up on uh, the more residential section of Beverly Hills. So if you wanna see the big mansions and things like that, you can just keep walking a couple blocks down Rodeo Drive. They've also got some little signs up here that tell you, hey, if you're looking for restaurants, turn right down here down Little Santa Monica. They've also got a visitor center and a couple spots that I like that are down this street 
uh, is the original outpost of Sprinkles Cupcakes. And then Sprinkles also has an ice cream shop that's down here. But this spot, Little Santa Monica, Rodeo Drive, is essentially the end of the street in this direction. And so now I'm gonna take you back and walk you back down this side of the street that we didn't walk on before as we get back to, to Rodeo Drive. We've got some signs up here that say there's a Father's Day car show coming up. Is that coming up? No, that's actually after, I've recorded this after that. No smoking or vaping. They've got some signs to let you know on Rodeo Drive. So if you thought you wanted to smoke out here in public, this is Beverly Hills, which is a different city than the rest of Los Angeles. And so they have different restrictions than LA has. And they also have their own police force in Beverly Hills, separate from Los Angeles. Beverly Hills is, in addition to having that yellow shop over there that we walked by, most expensive in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills is definitely known as being one of the most, oh, let me just show you in this entrance, right? This is like the entrance to the Ralph Lauren store. I mean, these stores are pretty cool just to kind of like walk in and take a look at, but we won't walk in too far because most of these places then don't take kindly to equipment that looks like people are doing a live stream or something like that. In case you're wondering, I'm recording this on a uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with a DJI Osmo Mobile 4 gimbal and the new DJI wireless microphone, which if I turn this around real briefly, oh, first, hey, there's me, hi, uh, right there, that's the DJI wireless mic right there on my shirt for any tech geeks that are wondering about how this works. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera back around. And you're also looking at this through the wide angle lens on this camera. A lot of people say like, Chris, I really like that wide angle that you have. That's the S21 Ultra that has the extra wide angle. Just to the left is a Louis Vuitton opening this summer. So I don't know if they're gonna be moving or if they're gonna be opening a second location. The original Louis Vuitton that we walked by, that's actually the site of the first high-end store that was here on Rodeo Drive. Oh, by the way, if you are like Google mapping Rodeo Drive, there is North Rodeo Drive and South Rodeo Drive. So if you put in an address and you just type in Rodeo Drive and you end up in a spot that just has a bunch of houses, uh, then you probably went to the you probably went to the wrong section of Rodeo Drive. You probably went to South Rodeo Drive instead of North Rodeo Drive. So make sure you get that address correct as you are typing it in. All right, we got one more street to cross here and I'll come back to you as soon as this light turns green. All right, green light on the scramble crossing. David Yerman on the right, Cartier on the left. Now I'll also say that a lot of the people that you see walking down Rodeo Drive uh, are not necessarily the high-end elites of LA, but, but they're the tourists. I mentioned this was one of LA's most touristy streets, and so a lot of people that are here are tourists, perhaps just like you if you're coming to visit. Uh, here we see Patek Philippe uh, Rolex shop if you want to get some really high-end watches. I much prefer just the Casio G-Shock watch in the heathered yellow color, but then again, that's just me. Here we've got uh, outpost of Ferrari that has the red rope and some red neon inside. We hear some maybe rap music from one of the cars going by. People do like to play their music a little loud as they drive on Rodeo Drive because it is a place to um, see and be seen, particularly if you have a fancy, fancy car. There's a couple places just to cross the street in the middle, if you want to, which that's a little crosswalk. We've got more shops opening up soon, St. Laurent. Uh, you know, the pandemic hit Rodeo Drive pretty hard. When I was here about six months ago, or a year ago, like half the stores were closed, not open, but it's great to see them really starting to open up again and life coming back to Rodeo Drive. A lot of people ask me, Chris, you know, how, how is California doing coming back from the pandemic? And, you know, places like Rodeo Drive right now feel pretty good. Like it's maybe like 80%, um, but definitely some of the shops are still closed, out of business, not open, uh, but you can tell 
things are coming back again, which is nice. And as we come up right here, you can see the scramble crossing where I started the video. And oh, by the way, if you're walking along Rodeo Drive and you're thirsty, there is like no place in those three blocks to get anything cheap to eat or drink. So make sure you bring a bottle of water. And if you're looking for some lower end stuff, uh, the street right next door, which as I'm on right now, Beverly Drive is where you'll find some more lower end things like Sephora and Sweet Green. So if you're looking for eat or food, Beverly Drive right next to Rodeo Drive or bring it with you. Well, fellow explorers, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in the next video. You'll find more links to my Los Angeles series here in the screen or in the description. And I'll see you over there.